This movie describes how to use the collection of Make Your Own Fractions activities. Here our goal is to make five fractions that are less than one. The numbers in the top right corner are our possible choices for numerators and denominators of our fractions. Making a fraction is easy. I come over here to our Custom Tools icon and I click and hold it. I then select the custom tool Make Fraction that comes with this model. Now I can make a fraction. Well, I want to make a fraction less than 1, so how about 2 thirds? I'll click 2, I'll click 3, and when I move my mouse, I instantly have the fraction 2 thirds, which I can place anywhere I like simply by clicking. Let's make another fraction. Well, let's make something a little more unusual. How about 13 hundredths? Can we do that? Let's see. Ah, a perfect representation of 13 hundredths. Students like to make fractions like this. They're not as fond of 2 thirds. Let's make one more. How about 25 eightieths? No problem. So here we have three fractions, and I'm going to switch to my arrow tool. And now let's change the size of all of these fractions. I'm going to make them bigger. This segment in the lower left corner allows me to simultaneously make any fraction on my screen bigger and smaller simply by dragging. So there, let's make them a little bit bigger, and I'll move them over so they're all separate and we can change the colors of the shaded portions of our fractions too. For instance, let me click here, and for 2 thirds, let's go to the display menu and choose color, and I'll pick green. And if I want to compare two fractions to see which is larger, I can simply drag one on top of the other to see how they compare. Now our challenge is to make some fractions equal to 1. So to do that, I again come back to my custom tools and choose Make Fraction. And how do I make a fraction equal to 1? Well, how about I make the fraction 11 elevenths? So I'll click 11, and then I'll click 11 again a second time. Here I have 11 elevenths, which is equal to 1. I could also click 80 eightieths, and here's another representation of 1. And as before, I can make these fractions larger. Okay, how about a fraction greater than 1? Will our tool work for that? Let's see. Make fraction, and let's start with something relatively small. How about 5 thirds? There we go. There's 5 thirds. How about, hmm, let's see, how about 60 sevenths? Here we go. And in fact, that one we're going to need to scroll off the screen to see the remainder of that fraction. Or, if we like, I can change the size of each circle. So there, we can view it all on the screen at the same time. In our next activity, we're asked to make as many fractions as we can that are less than one half using the numbers on this list. So for instance, we might make one third, one fourth, two fifths, and there's another page where we're asked to make as many fractions as we can that are greater than one half using a given list of numbers. Well, for talking about fractions, we've got to look at equivalent fractions. So make as many fractions as we can that are equal to 2 thirds. So I'll start by making 2 thirds by clicking 2 and 3. And what else can we make equal to 2 thirds? How about we try 12 eighteenths? So there are two. I'll change their size to make them bigger. Let's change the color of this 
to maybe purple, and I can drag one onto the other to see if they are indeed equal, and they are. Here's another activity. We're asked to use the plus key on our keyboard to keep increasing the denominator. So I'll select the denominator, and I'll come over to the plus key on my keyboard, and I'll tap it once, and I see we've gone from a half to a third. And I'll tap it a few more times, and each time we see the denominator is increasing by one. And we can ask, what happens to a fraction as its denominator keeps increasing? Students often think that the fraction itself gets bigger. Here's a very dramatic demonstration to see that, in fact, the fraction gets smaller. We can also double-click on the denominator and enter any number we want. For instance, maybe I'll pick 200, and then click OK. And there's our fraction. Here's another example of an activity using the same model. Here we're using the plus key to increase the numerator. So I'll select the numerator, and let's hit plus a few times. And we see that the denominator is always one more than the numerator. And we can ask, as these numbers grow larger and larger, what happens to our fraction? And we see the fraction is getting awfully close to 1, but there's always a little sliver left. It never seems to actually equal 1. And as before, we can double-click the numerator and pick a value we'd like to see. And we can instantly, in this case, go to see 250 divided by 251. We also managed to sneak in some early algebra into these fraction activities. Make a fraction that stays equal to 1 fourth as you change the value of n. Use n as the numerator. Well, if n equals 1 is the numerator, then 4 times n is going to be the denominator. I'll come to number, calculate, and here's my calculator. And I'll calculate 4 times n and click OK. Now if I select n and I increase its value, again using the plus key, we see that 4 times n changes as well. And we always have n divided by 4 times n is equal to or equivalent to 1 fourth. So to actually build the fraction, I'll choose my Make Fraction tool, and I'll click N, and then 4N, and there's my fraction. And if I change my value of N again, we see that it remains equal to 1 fourth. So all of these models used circles. Let's look at a model using rectangles. These come as a separate collection of sketches. So this time, we make our fraction really the same way. So I'm going to choose Make Fraction, and let's make 5 thirteenths. So I'll click 5 and 13. And here's our fraction, represented as parts of a rectangle. And I can click to place my rectangle. I can look down here in the lower left corner, and I see the length and width of my rectangle represented in pixels. If I want, I can change the dimensions, so maybe I'll use 350 pixels instead of 300, and maybe I'll use 400 pixels as my width instead of 200. So here again, I have 5 thirteenths. So this concludes the video which introduces the collection of Make Your Own Fraction activities.